So, baby, you can go sleep. But you don't come with me. No, I stay here. I just working all night. Okay then. Good night, sweetie. Good night. <laughs> I had started working again when I was interrupted by a telephone call from my editor who told Help? me that my latest book was not going too well so she was going to organize a meeting with my fans in a bookshop Okay I will be done tomorrow bye bye I had to start again this book would have been another flop I needed to rest, to be at my best for the next day. A meeting in a bookshop was a good idea. Anyway, Meridian was always good at looking after my career, and she knew that I was going through a difficult time. Steve, please here. Sure. Very nice. Thank you. Welcome. Morning, please. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I like your books. Thank you. I like all your books. The story is very interesting, but the question is the story comes from your fantasy or are your personal experience? Well. Victor. Victor Vida. I can help you with your next book. Call. Meridian was a very diplomatic woman, and not only was she my editor, she was also my best friend. Although there was considerable interest from my readers, sales were not going particularly well, and she suggested I should take a holiday, at least a break, to think about my work. In other words, have some time off and come back with new ideas. I decided to follow her advice. Robert had not come home yet. This was not like him, since he always told me where he was, especially when he was coming back late. Just when I really felt like me. 